Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Welcome to this video. <clears throat> what I wanted to do for this video is I wanted to switch my screen time for reading time. So basically, I try to decide between doing it day by day, which probably would have been much longer and definitely uh, don't have enough time for that to do everyday reading for like five hours. <laughs> But, um, and then I had to decide between doing it day by day or just my weekly average. So I decided to just do my weekly average for this video. Basically, actually, let's just, let's check what my, what my reading hours are right now. Okay, I averaged four hours and 28 minutes of screen time per day last week. So I'm just going to read for 4 hours and 20 minutes. The book I'm currently reading is Yours Truly by Abby Jimenez. So that's the book we're going to be reading for 4 hours in this video. I did kind of cheat and get kind of forward in this book. I think I'm on page 260. I think 260. I think. Can't really remember. I do forget my page in books if I don't have a bookmark in it. So that's super bad, but whatever so basically this book is about dr brianna and dr jacob maddox they're er physicians um they both go through uh, um personal traumas personal problems in their lives basically brianna her brother is in need of a kidney donor he's in renal failure she's just finalizing her divorce her husband cheated on her and um jacob he suffers from really bad anxiety like he gets super anxious to talk to new people be in loud areas just anxiety but bad anxiety in general so it starts off it's a friends to lovers fake dating um he ends up having to make up a girlfriend for his brother's wedding um, so he ends up asking Brianna to pretend to be his girlfriend for, I think, three months until the wedding. And we all know how that goes. We all know how that ends. And fake dating trope is actually my favorite in books. Like, I, it's my favorite type of trope. But basically, that's literally what we're going to be doing. We're just going to read for four hours and 28 minutes in this video. We're going to see how far we get. We're going to see, hopefully, I'm actually going to... I honestly think I should finish this in four hours. Like, I think I'm actually going to finish this in four hours. Because it's only like 380, 85. Almost 400 pages. But it's like super, I feel like it's super small. I don't know. I, I definitely do think I'm going to finish this in four hours. Like, I should be able to read 100 and something pages in four hours. So, we're going to put on the timer. We're going to see how far we get. Let's put on the timer. Oh my goodness, guys. I love this so much. Like it's so funny too like her writing is just she knows how to make you laugh when you're reading the book like you're reading a book that's kind of like annoying in a sense where like they're fake dating and stuff like that and they're clearly in love but don't do anything about it but throughout that entire time she just like knows how to make you laugh it's so freaking fun to like read this book i definitely want to buy more for books so quickly i'm almost done i have this little chunk to read and i cannot wait to finish it <laughs> Hi guys, it's a little bit later and it's actually kind of pouring at my house right now. So love that vibe, you know, I'm probably going to set up a cup of tea later and just continue to read. But I am happy to tell you guys that I have finished Your Truly by Abby Jimenez. This book, I have no words. 
I have no words of what this book did to me. This book, I gave this book five stars. It was incredible. I love her writing. I love her story. I loved the entire book. I loved the plot. It was so heartwarming. Everything I read in this book was just incredible. I definitely recommend this book if you guys want if you guys want a nice heartwarming read but it was also very impacting to see what the characters go through through their different lives and traumatic experiences i guess and it was just so good definitely recommend it so happy to announce that i finished yours truly by abby jimenez Another 5-star read for my bookshelf, which is in major need of a 5-star read because I haven't had one in a while, so. Hi guys, um, this is me actually ending up forgetting to film the ending or my goodbye of this video. So I did end up going on a trip and I just came back from it. So obviously I had so much time to edit, but no time to actually film an ending. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did enjoy this video, click the like and subscribe button down below the bell button to be notified when I upload more videos. And I really hope you guys enjoyed. Comment down below what your five star read for the summer has been, if it's more than one or just a couple. In my case, I've only ever ha I've only had two five star reads this summer, and it's kind of disappointing because there's only a month left until the summer for me is basically over because school starts in like six weeks so very disappointing but uh i do have hope for a third five star read and that's currently the book i'm reading which is what happens after midnight i don't know why i guess the book is just that good but i just felt to like add this as a side note in this video and give it the shout out it needs i'm probably gonna do it again in my next video because that's how good and amazing i love this book I'm almost done. I read throughout the trip. Didn't film any clips of that, so don't be kind of disappointed. But um, I only have like 50 pages left, and I'm super excited for that. Like, actually very. I'm probably going to finish it today, and I'll add it in my next video as like the round of applause I think the book is going to need. But yeah, I've only had two five-star reads, maybe three um but it's kind of disappointing but let's not lose hope and let's hope we find more five star reads throughout the summer and that's it for this video i hope you guys again enjoyed and hope to see you in my next one bye <laughs>